I'm Dr. Joshua Reichard, President and CEO of Omega Graduate School, and I'd like to be among the first to welcome you as a new student to OGS. This is a tutorial about the Core One experience. Thank you so much for choosing Omega Graduate School for your advanced graduate degree program. We know that you have lots of options and that there are many other places you could have gone to pursue an advanced graduate degree. But let's talk about what's special about OGS and what you can expect during your experience as a student at our institution. Number one, we're focused on the needs of adult learners. We know that adults learn differently than traditional college age students of maybe 18 to 22 years old. We know that you have professional and academic goals and that you bring a lifetime of experiences to the table as an adult learner. Second, we're based on the British tutorial method, particularly from the universities of Cambridge and Oxford. Part of the reason why those are some of the best universities in the world is because they are selective in their admission. And if you get into one of those universities, you know that you're going to have one-on-one -on -one instruction with what they call a tutor. Someone who walks with you through your entire degree program and gives you personalized one-on-one -on -one attention. And we've tried to model that here at OGS. We can do that because we're a small institution and we focus on a sense of community. You will be known at OGS. You will not be a number. Even myself as president of this institution will know you by name. And that's something that we can uniquely do that larger institutions cannot. And finally, we're hybrid in our approach to program delivery. You'll experience virtual weekend residencies over Zoom, and you'll get to see your classmates uh, virtually, but face to face, and get to know them and hear their voices and see their expressions. And in so doing, build that sense of community. You'll also do some asynchronous instruction. That means posting to discussion forums or uploading assignments for instructor feedback within our learning management system called Dial. But finally, you'll also have opportunities for face-to-face -face interaction at our reading and research seminars in Washington, D.C. at the Library of Congress and at Wycliffe Hall at the University of Oxford in the UK. So from our perspective, we offer the best of all worlds, virtual residencies by Zoom, asynchronous learning, and face-to-face -face opportunities with your professors and classmates. Let's talk about the OGS Core 1 experience. You might first be asking, what's a core? Well, we use the terminology core to talk about groups of courses. And depending on the program in which you're enrolled, you'll have a set number of cores to complete in order to earn your degree. But all OGS students will go through the same Core 1 experience, including the same Core 1 courses. This has some advantages. For example, if you are in the master's program, you'll already have a handful of courses completed toward your doctorate. And if you're in the Doctor of Social Leadership program, you'll have these courses completed if you ever wanted to continue on toward your PhD. So let's talk about the four courses that make up Core 1 at OGS. They are Transformative Learning and Adult Education, Transforming Self-Concept for Leader Development, Research for 21st Century Scholarship, Hermeneutics, and Communication. We divide these into affective skills and academic skills. The courses focusing on affective skills are Transformative Learning and Adult Education and Transforming Self-Concept for Leader Development. And you can see those on the top quadrant of the chart on the screen. Affective skills are designed to help you develop confidence for succeeding in graduate studies. Transformative learning in adult education is really about how to learn. How do I learn as an adult student returning to graduate school? We build that into our program to help you lay a solid foundation for the rest of your degree program. Transforming self-concept for leader development is about how to reflect, how to think critically about what you've learned, internalize it, and apply it to your life and profession. In fact, in every course, you'll have a reflection log that you complete. For the academic skills, that's the bottom half of the quadrant in the, in the blue sections. We have research for 21st century scholarship and hermeneutics and communication. 
academic skills are developing the competence that you need for succeeding in graduate studies. So these pair nicely together. We'll help you in core one develop both confidence and competence so that you can succeed in the rest of your degree program. Research for 21st century scholarship is really about how to conduct research, how to find sources in our library, how to cite them, how to incorporate them into your essays and your assignments and ultimately a research project or dissertation. Hermeneutics and communication is really about how to read and how to write. Hermeneutics is simply the art of interpreting words written by some other author. And of course, communication is how to communicate ideas effectively. In our case, most of that is done in writing. So these two courses go together, how to research and how to read and how to write. Together, these four courses in the Core One experience will give you everything that you need to succeed here at OGS. The affective skills, to build confidence for succeeding in graduate studies, and the academic skills that develop confidence for succeeding in graduate studies. I hope you're encouraged by this because at OGS, we believe that you can succeed in graduate school. We are here to help you and support you and encourage you every step of the way so that you can achieve your goal of earning your advanced degree. One of the ways that we implement our tutorial method based on the British system is through our assignment structure. You can count on assignments at OGS being generally the same in every course that you take. There will always be four assignments and they usually follow the exact same format. The first assignment will be content questions. The second assignment will be developmental reading, which is central to our tutorial method. The third will be an essay or some instructor assigned project. And the last assignment will always be a learning journal. The content questions are designed to help you think critically about what we call the course essential elements. Course essential elements are basically topics that are covered within the loose structure of a course. Through the content questions, you will share from your own personal and professional experience around issues in the subject area to acclimate yourself to the course. And you'll also prepare for your dissertation or your project oral defense. Often, especially in the virtual residencies, the content questions are answered and discussed in the context of a small cohort group. It's more like a conversation. In courses where there's asynchronous instruction, you'll interact with your peers and your professor in the discussion forum in Dial. The developmental reading assignment is about evaluating academic and scholarly sources in an area of research interest around the essential elements of the course. One of the very special things about OGS is that you get to tailor your own learning around your academic and professional interests. We only ask that you align your readings with the essential elements of the course, but you get to pick your readings, you get to contextualize them to your professional interests, and you get to tailor your entire degree program around a problem or an issue in your profession that you care about. You also get to do faith learning integration, that is bringing your faith perspectives to bear on the academic content. In the developmental reading assignment, you'll select scholarly sources from both additive and variant sources to expand your perspectives. Additive sources are things that add to what you already know about the topic. Variant sources are things that might challenge your perspective or represent a counter argument to what you think might be the case. We encourage this kind of reading and thinking at OGS because we want you to expand beyond your own presuppositions. In the developmental reading assignment, you'll also prepare for the dissertation or your doctoral project literature review. That is, reviewing scholarly literature, integrating and synthesizing it, organizing it, and making a coherent argument. The essay assignment is about synthesizing literature around a specific topic in your field and around the essential elements. In the essay, we want you to integrate your faith, scholarly research, 
and problem solving to address an issue or problem in your professional field. And this also, of course, prepares you for writing the dissertation or the doctoral project. Finally, the learning journal is about reflecting on how essential elements have impacted you personally and professionally. We want you to grow through the process of learning here at OGS. It's not just about completing assignments and courses and getting a degree. It's a transformational experience. In the learning journal, we want you to reflect on how the learning process is leading to spiritual, personal, and professional transformation. And this helps prepare you for your professional calling, professional goals, and missional impact in your area of constructive social change. One of the most unique aspects of education at OGS is contextualization. We encourage you to selectively read in your area of professional interest around the course essential elements, as we've already mentioned. This means that your dissertation or your doctoral project becomes contextualized for you. This ensures maximum flexibility to tailor your learning to meet your specific needs and interests. Another interesting aspect of your experience at OGS is the way we do grading and feedback. At OGS, you cannot earn anything lower than a B. If the professor thinks your work is inadequate, you'll receive what we call an NC grade and you'll be asked to resubmit that work with revisions. Because of this, you have the flexibility to submit an assignment late and earn a B as your highest grade. That's a choice you can make as an adult learner. If you turn the assignment in on time, you can earn an A, but if you need extra time, you can elect for a B and use that additional time to complete the assignment. Professors are always committed to working with you and to help you succeed in graduate studies. So, are you excited to get started at OGS? We certainly hope so. There's nothing like it in American higher education, and the experience is transformational. We hope this overview of what to expect in Core 1 has helped you and prepared you for what's coming as you start in the next term at Omega Graduate School. Congratulations again and welcome.